Hey people, Intrude here, 1v1, Ashes of Typhon, blue side. Give Initial me Mink 7771 is a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption. A cloak of human skin too. Black Legion here. Up against is Jones with a war boss, a melee brawler walking through objects. Very strong disruption and support from the front line. The Freebooters Pirate Orc DLC. We have double shooters, more heretics on the way for initial mink. CSM looks like they're running maybe through the mid, maybe just to that wreck point. The Chaos Lord's gone straight to the contested VP on the east side. We have naturals in the northwest and southwest. We might see those heavyweights meet on the east side actually, the war boss is here. I assume the Chaos Lord wins that fight quite easily. The war boss does higher DPS, but it's only regular melee. Chaos Lord's got a lower DPS but power melee weapon, more health, and kill the weak if you can hit it. Chaos, Lord, uh, Chaos Space Marines chasing off the shooter boys in the mid. They might try to flank around but sluggers are there. Chaos Lord's looking for some trouble. Gonna find it. Double shooters here. They need to split and move. Gets in there. Sloppy from Jones. Retreats them both off. CSM doing some shooting on retreat. Sluggers are grabbing the VP. These heretics will do so in the southwest. Did they drop any models, these guys? Doesn't look like it. Sloppy position to find themselves in, but they got away without losses at least. Chaos Lord's going to decap some stuff though. As are those CSM. Here come sluggers. Default sluggers against CSM. I think that's maybe worth fighting, you guys. If all three of them were shooting there, they could stay in melee. But here come shooter boys as well. Yes, yeah, so they got to go. With no burners, if you can get lots of bolt of fire on as they approach, stay in melee and mess them up. Havoc's on the way for initial mink. Storm boys on the way for Jones. That's going to be fun. There's kill the weak. Only hits one model though there. Good special afterwards. Really messing up these shooter boys. They're trying to dacker him. But he's a big fella. War boss pushes forward to get some decaps. Heretics will avoid him most likely because of his stomp. Chaos Lord gets too close to the base turrets and flees. Did they drop a model? They only dropped one. Only dropped one. Your forces Slugger's gonna grab this natural wreck point. Where are the other heretics? Here they are, they've come through the mid. Storm boys might go after them here. These guys have power melee weapons, they're a big threat to the Chaos Space Marines especially. There's a Doom Blast. A Doom Blast on a decap. I don't think that was a good use of that heretic body there. But they get away, they got a decap as well. It really seems like a lot of players kind of use the Doom Blasts willy-nilly, not realizing they're actually sacrificing a model for it. You be a bit more careful how you use it. These guys get their aspiring champion. He's a Chaos Space Marine with Bolt Pistol and Chainsword. Gives the others more health, which in turn means that Doom Blast does more damage. In amongst those shooters ripping them up here. They're gonna die, are they? They do white. Storm boys with hard boys on them. Tear through some heretics, but those guys have earned the right to live, maybe for tier one. In wiping those shooters. They wipe them so fast. I guess maybe the Chaos Space Wings were shooting as well. They have their eternal war. Storm boys staying in this fight way too long, Jones. Down to three models. Could have been way worse. Could have been way worse. CSM did drop a model. Havoc's in play now. Suppress the war boss. Shooter boys need to try and suppress them, maybe, with the big shooters. Havoc's are moving up, though. Meanwhile, heretics are talking to me, are they? They both got aspiring champion? Yeah, both got aspiring champion. Sluggers got messed up here, but they did get away. It's a shaky start, though, for Jones. Initial Minx Chaos Lord runs away. War boss with no war gear. Might want to get Cyborg or something. Because the heretics are a massive threat, apparently. 
Jones hasn't been great at microing his shooter boys around. Shooter boys versus Havocs, and the green ones win. Actually, buying gens on this power on the eastern edge. War boss is persuaded to leave by exploding cultists. These guys worshiping corn for that plus two speed. Initial mink might be able to kind of camp the west side a bit here with the havocs because if storm boys jump there's double heretics to to pounce on them sluggers now have their burners gives them a couple of power weapons a couple of burners for fire stuff and some more health 451 to 435 on the vps one to one cap but looks like two to one for orcs here some darker for the chaos lords to deal with no sign of the combi flamer. Might be have get his eyes on the uh, blood maul for tier two. Feel like it's been a while since I've seen the big old chaos baseball bat in play. Chaos Lord has already used kill the weak. He's in trouble here. That was a really painful one. Goes down. Just kept him chasing for too long there. Abbots could get jump and it could get nasty. There's a single heretic squad here. That's the suppression. Are they going to jump? Apparently not. They're going to just fight the heretics here. There's the jump. It was such a cool jump animation. A kind of twist and turn in the air. Heretics are getting messed up. There's Ard Boys again. Global ability of the war boss, giving them 25% damage resist. Uses it well, almost got those heretics done actually. This is a dicey fight though for Jones. Stormboy is jumping out, which I think is smart. Sluggers though, not too smart. Oh, they're lucky to get away, I think. This one's far enough away, I think, to make it away. Is there. Oh, there are CSM on the tree path. Can they shoot them down? I think maybe they can. Oh, they're not shooting. They're not shooting. There we go. They tried it. I think maybe they would have done it if they started shooting them earlier. But then out of six hit points, they definitely would have. Heretics pushing forward. So it was a good start to that fight for Jones, but they kind of lost track of things, lost track of their sluggers. They're a bit too focused on their storm boys there. Death Dread on the way though for Jones. Storm boys jumping in. Heretics here again. The Doom Blast cap from Initial Mink. I mean, it suppressed them, I guess. Hard Boys again being used, and there's the knob leader. He's a big fella with a heavy melee chopper. A huge chopper, I guess they would call it. Hard Boys still up. Oh, there it's gone now. Jumping over to the east side. Messing up some Havocs. These Sluggers now get their Knob Leader. He's also pretty awesome. Chunk of hit points and power melee damage on that guy. Dreadnought on the way for Initial Mink. Maybe a melee Dreadnought with all this walky melee going on. Has he seen the dread, the Death Dread? I don't think so. Warboss is really angry with this Chaos Lord. He doesn't seem too bothered. He's going to decap. Meanwhile... Power bash from the orcs. They've got the node. Should have been using the burners of the slugger boys there. Heretics are going to die, I think. Oh, pretty close, but they do get away. There's the jump. That stun on landing from that big storm boy. Here comes the death dread with burners and bits. And there's your dreadnought. No mark yet. Starts off with an auto cannon. Decent damage to all targets. And that underslung twin linked heavy bolter too, or twin linked bolter. Bad phase for the Havocs to be. Smack. Smack. That guy died. Got some corn worship. And are they going to go for the power bash? They are. This is risky. Because the dreadnoughts right there could get Mark of Zinch or Mark of Corn, which would mess up the death dread. Doing a pretty good job with the auto cannon, actually. Could go into melee with that big old claw. Death Dread is having too much fun to leave, maybe. There he goes, he's off. Initial Mink used Bloodlust, which 
doesn't affect your vehicles. So that was kind of a waste. Death Dread did take a decent chunk of damage, but that was a waste of a bloodlust, I think. It's one of his global abilities where your infantry units do more damage as they land attacks, but it doesn't apply to your dreadnoughts. 298 to 409 on the VPs. Triple cap here for the Orcs. The Death Dread bought a lot of time for cap in there. War boss with a power claw now. In fact, fully kitted out. Spiky armor and angry bits. There's the now I'm angry. Gives him a bunch of health regen and damage bonus. But he charged right into an angry chaos dreadnought. Smacked him once and he ran away. Storm boys leveled yet? Yeah, they're level three. Sluggers are on repair duty, almost level three themselves. Death dread got a decent chunk of XP. And we do see the Blood Maul on the Chaos Lord. Should help him fight the melee blob of the Orcs, perhaps. Super Boy's gonna have a bad day here. There's Kill the Weak. And we do have a Mark of Corn Chaos Dreadnought now. Ard Boys again on the Storm Boys. I mean, they've done well with it. Haven't seen any use your choppers yet. Here comes the Dreadnought. This is bad news. They don't want to stay here. Oh, they're going for the kill on retreat. Which might mean... Yeah, they're in trouble. They can't jump away for a few seconds. There we go, they can jump now, I think. But they just retreated. Looks like they're going to make it out. Oh, this knob leader died, though. Aspiring champion on the way for... Initial Minx Chaos Space Marines. There he is. And looters for Jones, most likely with a beamy death gun to try and shoot down this very dangerous dreadnought. Warboss does have that heavy melee weapon but doesn't want to fight a dreadnought in melee with melee resistance. He'd get destroyed. Still level 1 as well. Chaos Lords level 2. Death Dread through the mid. Should use this guy to go after the power maybe again. If the dreadnought pushes up that is, otherwise it might be worth just being defensive with this thing. Doesn't look like Jones is interested in being defensive though. Going for this VP has turned the Dreadnought. So Jones can now cap the Eastern VP. Shooter Boy's got messed up, but the Death Dread's in there having a fantastic time. Burning and chopping. Here comes the Chaos Lord. Goes after the Death Dread for some reason and not the Sluggers. Chaos Dreadnought is here, gets a hit, I think. I think that hit. Usually when the animation plays, you're going to hit. Tier 3 for Jones, and here is the Beamy Death Gun Looter Squad. Dreadnought has stopped, though. Death Dread's going to harass the Chaos Lord. Does around about 70 heavy melee DPS, I think, the Death Dread. Pretty well statted for the cost. Chaos Lord gets a decap. That was like four hits, I think, on the Chaos Lord. Down goes the Death Dread. The Havocs had an auto cannon. Beamy gets a few shots in on the Chaos Dreadnought. East side, meanwhile, the war boss is pissed. Runs away, now level two though. Looks like he killed one of the CSM. These guys now with Markov's Inch, maybe with an eye towards Knob Squad in Tier 3. And it's good DPS against the war boss and all the other infantry as well. I think the Death Dread did a decent job. Did some good damage. Caused a bunch of problems. Storm Boys need to jump past the Dreadnought here. There we go. Jumped a little bit late, I think. Havoc's run away. The warship is halted for a Doom Blast. And there we see the sweeping doom of the Blood Maul. And he gets away the Chaos Lord. Look at that. Chaos Dreadnought is causing havoc. Storm Boy's got away though. With Black Blood Sacrifice Blood Letters spawning in. Probably from the Heretics. Beamy was getting a lot of shots in there. What is this? It's CSM and Heretics very clumsily bashing power over there. War boss is back. Looted tank on the way for Jones. Decent choice, I think. 
they're eventually going to get it done. I think maybe the C the CSM should just decapping that wreck point, that fully matured wreck point. Leave the heretics to bash. War boss comes straight through towards the VP. There's a shrine of corn here, which will spawn blood letters. Powerful goes after it. Super boys are here to cap, or rather decap. And here comes the Chaos Lord, he's got a dark halo up. As well as Harness of Rage to give him some en energy back. Also gives energy to surrounding allies, although nothing really to benefit from it here. None of these units use energy. Great for supporting Raptors though. 246 to 203. Supporting Bloodletters too. There's a looted tank, and there's a big old tank shot. He's got the reinforced plating now. Gives him the boom gun and more hit points. Doesn't seem, yeah, not really worried about the Chaos Lord's regular melee weapon on rear armor, but it's doing decent. Look at that. How much damage did that Blood Maul do? Did 150 damage on rear armor. Bloody hell. Maybe you should worry about it. I don't think the auto cannon got any shots in. It's not on rear armor anymore. Oh, it's too close for the for the other guns to fire. There we go. Back off a little bit. Chaos Lord is harassing this tank though. Needs to keep it moving. Sluggers capping stuff up on the east side. Heretics died over here. But they got away. Oh, the CSM did not get away though. I missed the CSM dying. Where are they? I don't see their bodies. I don't think all units keep their bodies around though because of certain bugs with things. Not sure. Completely missed it. I was obsessed with the Chaos Lord smacking this tank around. 208 to 203 is very close on the VPs. Auto Cannon's getting some free hits in on that tank. Needs to get away from the Dreadnought. Trying to do so. Needs to keep moving. Don't stop moving. War boss gets in on the Havocs. And might wipe them out here. Yep. Retreating units do not like power claws the size of Eldar. Mark of Zeeps Chaos Dreadnought now. Who needs tier 3 when you've got Chaos Dreadnoughts, eh? Ouch. Tank could be in trouble here. Got too close to the Marco Zinc uh, Dreadnought. Has it got far enough away? He needs to keep moving. If he kept moving, maybe he would have got away. Maybe. It's a big loss though for Jones. He does have a bunch of resources. 169 to 203. Beamy gets a few shots on. Uh oh. The Blood Rage Dreadnought's going after its own Chaos Dreadnought buddy there. But it's okay. He's calmed down. Calm down. Just showed him some blood and stuff, and he's all right. Knob spot on the way now for Jones, with war boss support. Could tear apart anything, pretty much. Even that melee dreadnought over there. What level is that guy though? Still level one. Noise marines on the way for initial mean That's a strange one. Not expecting that. Not sure how they can't really control the knob squad here. Well, I guess the blood maul maybe can. Storm boys have done fantastically well at level four. Yeah, they are level four. Some more blood sacrifice, blood letters there. Dreadnought's angry again. Uh oh. Now he's found the chaos lord to go after. Has to put his shield up. Blood letters disappear. There we go. One six five to one eighty. War boss on the VP in the southwest. Jones, I feel like has initial mink kind of on the back foot, putting pressure on that natural VP. Initial mink having to be reactive here. Chaos Lord trying to be proactive going after this VP. Does a good job. Messed up those storm boys with his shield up there. Didn't spend energy using his sweeping doom. We have Blast Master Noise Moons to hold down the 
the VP on the east side, you'd expect that they're just going to get jumped by the Storm Boys though, but you never know. I mean, one good shot before the Storm Boys get into range, maybe for the jump, would be enough to get rid of them. There's a 2 to 1 for Jones. Blood Letters on the way now for Initial Link. Blood Letters are very good price to performance for fighting knobs. They can do a really good job against a knob squad. Especially with that Chaos Lord support and the Sweeping Doom, maybe. Chaos Lord doing a good job getting the decaps and stuff. Orcs are on the east side. It's Sluggers who's just going to swamp them to get in on the Noise Marines. They have been spotted, though. And they're going to retreat away in time, it seems. Chaos Lord has killed Shooter Boys, it seems. But that war boss with spiky armor and the power claw is putting some pain on that Chaos Lord there. Is it enough to kill him? No, that hit wasn't enough. Well, this is going to be upset that he didn't kill him. Time to cap, buddy. Yeah, you can't get him. Lob capping orcs on the east side. There we go. Are oh, these guys jumping mid, are they? Are oh, they trying to get the Chaos Lord? If they jumped earlier, it would have worked. Here are your blood letters then. Demons with power melee weapons, high DPS, and they can teleport around and stuff. Sluggers get the cap, and they get away. Double cap now. Maybe a triple. Yes, a triple before they can decap that. More knobs on the way for Jones. Had enough of any kind of nuance. It's all about the knob squads now. Level 4 Storm Boys. What about the Sluggers? What level are they? Level 4. They've got a very scary melee army here. Can Initial Mink fight it? Orcs not known for their nuance. They're just camping the Western VP now. War boss is kind of hiding. Decent shot on an knob squad there. Just made them angrier. Gonna see a sweeping doom maybe. No secure the weak. No sweeping doom there. Last master getting some decent shots in. Then it comes that dreadnought. Storm boys, I was gonna say, are you gonna jump the last master or what? They've lost their knob leader, I think, have they? And the dreadnought is there. Storm boys might need to flee. Chaos Lord, I think, is gonna go down. Yeah, Chaos Lord goes down. Storm boy is still in play. Was the dreadnought hitting the noise moves there? Amazing that the Storm Boys lasted that long. Bloodlet is in retreat path, killing the looters there. Storm Boys have run, but the Bloodletters are in retreat path. Looks like they're not going to attack them though. Where's the second knob squad? They're on the east side, I assume capping. Unless they've misclicked over there. War boss and the knob squad. Hard boys on the knobs, but they run. Dreadnought is not messing around. This thing is badass in melee. Warboss puts user choppers. I don't think he has enough health though to get this done, no. Maybe if that user choppers went up earlier, would have got it done. But has the triple cap here. I think they've done enough. 26 to 177. How did they cap with the last master here? I guess it wasn't here quickly enough, eh? It's gonna be Jones's game. Well played. Level 6 Chaos Lord, we had a level 4 war boss. Really wanted to kill that Dreadnought, didn't they? But couldn't quite get it done. The Dreadnought was cool, the Storm Boys were awesomely fun, so were the Sluggers actually. It's a fun game, not the highest level game ever, but fun. Did this Dreadnought level up? What level 2, really? Killed the tank, not sure what else he killed, maybe he was in melee with stuff. Heretics level 3 and level 3. Still don't know where those CSM died. It must have been over here. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.